I welcome it. I welcome the ruling. It brings clarity to an area where we had so much confusion. And you know, what always came across to me was it was the confusion that was causing mistrust, the mistrust which was causing fear, and the fear was causing anger. We need to go right back to the beginning, have clear, uh, clear guidance, clear rulings that we can all understand. And from that, there may be a way to move forwards. Mm. Well, I, I, I'm pleased to hear you say that because coming from somebody who is transgender, of course, transgender female, it's really good to hear that because a lot of people may have expected you to say the opposite, actually. So I'm wondering, though, because I have heard people talking about this, especially um, a lot of trans people saying that they would feel sort of, um, uh, you know, um, vulnerable if they were going into a, a separate space that wasn't a, a mixed space. And it's sort of it sort of puts the spotlight on them and says, look, that, that person is trans going into a trans space or that that's an argument that I've heard. What, what's your thought on that? Well, <clears throat> most spaces are mixed sex, of course. You know, in most situations in everyday life, we uh, we all we, we're all in the same space. Uh, we only have separate sex spaces when it's uh, when it is a proportionate means of achieving le a legitimate aim, to use the uh, legal term. Uh, that's the only time we do it. And it's been done because women especially need a separate space. Now, what we should be looking at is that can we set aside separate spaces for trans people as well and uh, work that way. So we've got two separate protected characteristics. We've got a protected characteristic of sex, one of gender reassignment, and we'll look at them uh, separately. But what's been happening is it's all been put together in, in this confusion. So we don't really know what we mean by sex, what we mean by gender, what we mean by gender reassignment. All this language has been confused to the point where we need to step back and think, what are we trying to achieve here? And what we're trying to achieve is, is to ensure safety, but also dignity of women and trans, and in this case, in my case, trans women. Sometimes we can do it in a group together, but other times it's right to do it separately.